Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. You know, during these tough times that we're going through, I keep getting the frequently asked question, Susan, why is this happening to us? With everything that's going on, why? And you know, I really believe on a spiritual note that universe is trying to give us opportunities to learn from this experience. You know, this is a very tough time right now, what we're going through in many different areas, not just financially. Um, but I really believe that we are being led to this for numerous reasons and what we have to learn and what we have to experience, not to take everybody for granted, which is our loved ones, friendships, um, so many different people. And we're forced to take the time now to isolate and to be with one another, even our spouses. And we're forced to even talk. It's funny, I said, if we were meant to have learned so many of the lessons, this would really have gone away very quickly. But the longer this is going on, I believe in a much more deeper way, universe is trying to convey messages, not just for um, learning, but the experience of it all. We're on lockdown and I all I hear from people is I'm going crazy, I have to go outside and I get that, but I think the meaning is much more deeper than that. We have to learn discipline again. We have to learn restraint, but we also have to learn and to appreciate each other more. Um, it's it's interesting because even with people's jobs, I even look, I have many clients and good friends that are school teachers. And the one constant that I'm hearing with school teachers is that they have to learn to be more creative, even in teaching their lessons to their students. And it's making them think outside the box. So in a way we have taken so much for granted. You know, when we go to the grocery stores, I know for myself that I have a, a plan of what I'm going to buy and how long I'm going to make all of this stretch, stretching our food and our consumption of food, uh, things that I never thought about before. When I was a little girl, my father used to say, you kids are all spoiled. You guys eat all what you want to eat and anything you don't want to finish, you throw away. And he goes, and it's not meant for that. And it's funny because I hear my father's words every day because now I look to stretch the meals that I make and simple things like that. So growing your own food, my father was big on always growing plants and the vegetables and, and the fruits, and he was always big into that. And I think it's teaching people to start gardening and to start doing these things around their surroundings um, and not taking that for granted. The one thing we have control is what we can do in the confines of our home. This is very, very important. You know, interesting, I read that China, when China was going through all of this and the lack of the travel, um, at night they would go outside and the Chinese people would look up in the sky and they actually saw stars for the first time. It wasn't polluted. Same thing in Italy with the gondolas and they're actually seeing the clear waters. They're seeing the fish. They're actually seeing dolphins where they never could because of all the, all the boating and the pollution that was taking. So think about this too, what our poor earth has been going through for so many years. And now that we have had to take a halt on so many things, our earth can actually breathe. Interesting, isn't it? You know, I truly believe we're going to get through these times. You need not to fear it, but to endure it. I don't fear it as much as I am conditioning myself for my mindset to do what we have to do right now. The one thing I do want to say is teaching us to be united, teaching us to help others. That is probably the biggest lessons that we can learn right now. You know, these nice people that are delivering food, don't forget to tip these people because they're taking a chance. They have a job that they have to take a chance every day and put their health on the line, just like the first responders and the medical staff, people that have to go out, people that are in your grocery stores, stocking up our shelves for us. Think about 
that they need those jobs and they have to sit there and put their help on the line. So it makes me appreciate people a little bit more. And I think that this is when it's all said and done, you're going to appreciate your job more. You're going to appreciate what your job gives you as far as a living. You're going to appreciate your children more. You're going to appreciate food more. You're going to appreciate going outside and breathing and having good, clear oxygen again. These are tough times, but we're going to get through them. I truly believe we will. But your faith and your belief, but also what universe is trying to show us, we need to get back to simplicity because that is what's going to carry us through. When they say we're all in it together, we are. One is no better than the other. My mother always used to say, you're no better than anybody else and nobody's better than you. We're all on equalness. That's where the platform is. So whatever we can do to make someone's day a little brighter, pick up the phone and call somebody and check, check up on them. Say, hey, how are you doing? Whatever it takes, do it. These are some of the simple things that we still have control of. Take a few minutes and be there for somebody and give them the strength and the courage that maybe they're lacking. Say something funny. You know, I hear um, on the news constantly how many people are dying from the coronavirus, but let's start switching it, okay? And let's say every day, how many people have survived coronavirus? Let's see some of those numbers. So start doing that more, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's an email, whether it's talking to somebody who is so scared, Every day, go and do a Google on what the count is for people that have survived it. And let's focus more on that kind of a positive. And that is something that will get us through. Like I said, this can take some weeks, this can take some months, but at the end, we will prevail. But it's our mindset that we are being tested. And like I said, we are in this together, so let's think as positive as we can. Until then, I wish you abundance of blessings with each and every one with your families, your health, and your well-being. But remember, your spirit will get us everywhere. Until next time, subscribe to YouTube and to Facebook. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.